So today we're building a cinema rig uh, based on the Fujifilm system. I'm assuming you're here because you want to see how you can convert a Fujifilm camera into something you can bring around to your professional videography gigs. I mean, imagine showing up to a video gig with this thing versus something that looks like this. With the bigger thing, you definitely look like you know what you're doing. So let's build this thing. If you've been shooting on the Fujifilm system, likely you're starting from something like this, just a regular camera body with the kit lens. This is definitely enough to start your videography career. But to take it a step further, I think we have to uh, reassess uh, the parts of the things that I think are most important for when you actually want to produce um, videos for professional work. So for now, I'll just take out the kit lens so we can you know, play around with how we want to construct the body. We just have the Fujifilm body right now. If you're still curious what this body is, this is the Fujifilm X-S10 and uh, this is the camera that I've been using mostly for most of my videos recently. With that, you want to get a cage or something to be able to mount all of your other gear too. So for the purposes of my cinema rig, I'm using the small rig uh, cage. I'll have the part number up somewhere on screen, but it's simply just um, kind of screws in and fits quite well, really. So just screw that in. You have this tool that you can actually use to, to help you um, screw that in. Okay. It also comes with this smaller screw here, which um, conveniently screws into one of the strap things on the Fujifilm body. So let's just Screw that in right now. So the next thing I'd want to put on here is something that'll help me hold on to the camera, especially for when I need to go lower. So that's why I add this um, small rig top handle. If you notice, this is an all metal handle. You can also get um, wooden handles for small rig from small rig, but I actually just prefer the black ones for the aesthetic. So it literally just screws in like so. But you can also use like a tool to help you tighten further how you're screwing it in. But now we can have something that looks like this. Okay? Easier to hold, especially if you wanna go down, but it still gives me access to the side uh, buttons of the camera body, right? So now that we have a more solid uh, foundation for this camera body, we can now afford to put in possibly a bigger lens, um, something that would, um, you know, give it a bit more heft, physically speaking, but also would give us a better image quality over the kit lens. And that is the Fujifilm 16 to 55 f 2.8. So let's put that on uh, right now. So, right? Okay. So now it's starting to look a bit more like uh, like something you'd bring in a professional video shoot. Okay. There. Right. Hold it like this. You can flip out the screen if you need to shoot lower. And this is very versatile in itself right now. Right. And it's light. But on the topic of a shooting down low, it's also nice to have something that will help you see what you're shooting, especially if you're shooting down low. So this is why I opted to add an extra monitor screen to this cinema rig. So um, this is the port keys PT5. I'll have links for this in the description below. I choose to put this here on the actual top handle like so. Just tighten it like this and now you can see your framing on this screen while you are holding it down here or even if you are holding it a bit like so and the screen just tilts however way you need it to. So it's very straightforward to use the screen. You can attach it to your camera with an HDMI cable. I'll show you this towards the end of this build. For now though, for now though I'm gonna take this back out because I have a few more things I want to add. But some of them, I think, takes up a bit more space. So in order to accommodate that space, I like to put uh, a base plate. Uh, a base plate helps you have more room 
and more places to attach your things. So the base plate I'm using is this thing again from Small Rig. Uh, it, it has two screws that screw conveniently under the cage that we just put in earlier. So um, I'll just put that on like so for the time being just to get the alignment right. And then once I am happy with the alignment, I screw it in slightly with my fingers before I finish off tightening these things with a proper screwdriver. I actually brought this uh, camera rig, the finished one, around recently. I was uh, shooting a family vacation with it. Definitely overkill for family things, but it was interesting. To be to bring this around you know shooting like people uh, family members stuff like that but i do think that certain places won't allow you to bring something that resembles a professional movie rig so just be careful with that the base plate makes it so that we have something to accommodate our big battery so the one i'm using is this thing it's from xiaomi it's a xiaomi power bank um, you can use any power bank really or you could use like a d-tap thing but you know, for the purpose of convenience, um, weight, and, you know, compatibility, I'm using this power bank. I really wanted to attach it like this somewhere here. And Small Rig has this accessory called the, the power bank hinge, I think. Or it's on the screen here, somewhere here. And this is how it works. So, uh, on your base plate, and this is the hinge thing. It just slots in there quite smoothly. Just tighten that. And then it gives you this hinge, right? If I have that hinge, I can still flip out my screen. But what's more important is I have a place now to put this power bank. So it just kind of, okay, there we go. Okay, but now I have this power bank here on that hinge, okay? It hinges in and out. Again, because I have this hinge, it lets me still be able to access that flip out screen. And how this works is you can just tighten this and then it stays in place like so. Okay? So for now, I think our cinema rig is clearly taking shape. But personally, because of this um, extra weight that we're putting on it, I'd want an extra point of contact or extra just an extra place to put my hands or to hold the camera rig itself. This is why I'm also adding this uh, small rig side handle. It just screws into the side like so. So after you put that on, you now have a side handle. Um, from experience, it, it's very, very stable. It's very rigid. Even if you hold it with just one hand, you don't feel like your camera is gonna, you know, fall off and break and whatever horrible things. And next up is probably my favorite thing about the cinema rig and this is the matte box. The matte box is something very iconic for most cinema rigs. Um, if you see people, you know, shooting with a camera with a matte box, you kind of feel like, oh, they're legit, they know what they're doing. And even though it barely adds any functionality to my cinema rig, I like having it on there just because it looks cool. Just because it looks cool. So you start off by screwing in the mounting ring. Um, again, this is from Small Rig. Screws in very similarly to how you screw in, uh, screw in your filters. And once you have that mounting ring screwed on, uh, you can just attach the matte box using its... Um, it's kind of like a clamping mechanism. To clamp it on there. Just make sure it's properly aligned. And then you can tighten that like this and there you have it proper cinema rig and you can add a few more things for me i like to add these rods here like so so for now i don't have any real purpose for these rods but moving forward i'm looking into putting a place to mount um wireless microphones so somewhere here on these um mounting rods uh, one last thing that you want to add is the microphone. Um, not all cinema productions have a microphone mounted on the camera, but if you're like me and you like to do run and gun, um, this is why I have this microphone mount on the side handle. So again, we're using the Rode VideoMic NTG. I've always been using this. And then you mount back your um, 
monitor on the, on the top handle. And there we go. Here is our more or less completed cinema rig, okay. right? So imagine showing up to a shoot with a smaller thing that I showed earlier, just the body, and compare it to showing up with this. Okay. The wiring is fairly straightforward. I have a few short USB um, type A, type C cables for both the Fujifilm and the, and the microphone. I have an HDMI cable that you just uh, plug into both the monitor and also the Fujifilm camera itself. Again, I have a Canon dummy battery for the monitor. So it slots in here in the back. And again, this is why I'm using this power bank so that I can just plug in the monitor straight to the power bank using USB-C through the dummy battery. So here's the cinema rig, okay? Finally, here's the cinema rig. Um, it's a very fun, small project. I'm not very sure that a lot of people actually rig up the Fujifilm XS10, but here you go. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I'm sure that uh, there are a few things that I missed. So if you have any questions or if you think I missed a few things, um, the comment section is very, very open for you to ask or to comment whatever you want to say. So it took a lot of time to produce this video, obviously. There were a lot of things I had to consider and it also took a bit of, a fair bit amount of, you know, uh, searching for the right parts, trial and error. So if you appreciate the effort I put in, consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. See ya.